Kindergarten, week nine, Force in Motion. Teachers this week, we're going to look at the words that are in the teaks about force in motion. Straight line, zigzag, up and down, back and forth, round and round, fast and slow. I have some toys here that make those patterns. I have a car ramp we can use for up and down and straight line. All of this will be on the floor. We're going to move the tables, fold them up so everybody will be sitting on the floor. Everybody will have a ramp, two kids per ramp, so they all have equal opportunity and there's enough cars for everyone. So I'm just going to walk over here and show you the way that these are going to work. What the students need to be careful of, and please tell them, don't overwind the toys. They'll break them. They know that. They've seen these before. So we don't want to ruin it for the rest of the kids who are coming, so tell them don't turn these springs too tight. Let's start with straight line. The straight line, what I've done is I made you a ramp that has a slick surface on it, like maybe an icy road, a regular surface, which is just cardboard, and a sandpaper surface. So it's really good just for your kindergartners to feel that difference in those surfaces. And it's going to be real basic in kindergarten. They're just going to put their car at the top of the ramp and it's going to go down. Then they can put it on the glassy surface and they're going to see that it actually goes faster. And then the last one will be their sandpaper surface. Should slow the car down some. They're not going to see a big difference in it. So there we go, with straight, that took care of straight line and up and down. So let's look at zigzag. We have these little wind up toys that go in different patterns. They make different patterns, so let's look at them. So he goes in a straight line. Uh, if your kids don't get to see the zigzag, we have a whale that makes a really good zigzag. But I don't have enough for every group. You know, if you have time and they're playing, what if, what if you put this whale on the sandy surface? What is it? So we're going to use the wind-up toys, uh, the little teeth, they just jump up and down. So you could do up and down with the teeth if that's in your group. We have round and round. So what I want your kids to do when they get through with this group is to be able to take a plain piece of white paper and make those patterns of those teats, round and round, zigzag, back and forth. Here's a different one that just goes around and around. And then I have put tops in your group because that's a good way to do round and round and they just love playing with them and a good way to do back and forth I took a washer and tied it on a string you can tell them just swing it one time and just hold it and see what happens to the washer and eventually gravity will make it stop of course they're going to keep swinging them one safety precaution is they're going to have to hang on to these and not hit other kids in the head with them. So this could be their back and forth or their fast and slow. Any of them could be fast and slow. So that's week nine.